heading to 8110 North 18th Street. Happy Friday. Welcome back everyone. Long time no see. What you're about to see is what we've all been waiting for. Waymo fully driverless on the freeway. Today's video is in Phoenix, but since I recorded this footage, I've also filmed a freeway ride crossing most of the service area in LA. I'll be uploading that soon, so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want a heads up when it goes live. Oh, and the camera angle for this video will go back to my full usual wide angle shortly, once we reach our first stop and I remember to put the seats a little bit further back. And with that out of the way, as our light turns green, I'm just going to let you watch this moment for what it is. I hope you're as excited to see this as I was. And there we have it. Absolutely incredible. We're approaching our first merge into freeway traffic. Let's see how it goes. A little indecisiveness in the planner line there on the visualization, but the actual action was flawless. We merged over as soon as that solid line turned into a dashed one. As we cruise through this interchange, let's talk about its behavior a little. So far, we've been camping out in the right lane a little, locked at the speed limit where other traffic permits us to do so. Well, both of these behaviors are about to change. The speed limit lock later on in the video and the left lane change camping right now. I can't be totally sure why, but I'm assuming it was to let the car to our right merge over. Let's skip ahead to another interesting challenge. How does it behave when the lane merges from two into one? Well, as you can see, this was also handled perfectly with even the lane change to get out of the whole situation. This is probably exactly what I would have done. Now, let's take a look and see if the Waymo driver can merge aggressively when needed. That's not the tightest gap in the world, and the planner path did seem to be quite indecisive, but the actual behavior output was solid and confident. Nicely done. Next, let's take a look at defensive driving on the freeway. Keep your eye on the white truck to our left. Either that or it was just nervous around the huge semi truck to our left. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Next up, what happens if you press pull over when you're cruising down the freeway in a Waymo? Surely it doesn't just pull onto the shoulder and kick you out, right? Well, you'd be correct. As soon as I press the pull over button, the car starts moving over to take the nearest exit. Then it picks the closest pullover spot after taking that exit. Solid behavior. However, I have heard from others that if you press pullover on the freeway and then cancel, you can fake the car out into changing all the way over and then back again, repeating the cycle to have the car constantly changing lanes. If anyone from Waymo is watching, maybe it's time for a limit on that. But anyway, right now I've made the mistake of pressing pull over midway through a multi-stop trip. So let's put our original stop back and continue back onto the freeway. Speaking of which, let's take a look at this merge on. The car in front of us in the lane we want to change into brakes, but Waymo still manages to squeeze its way in 
in front of the car behind us, then afterwards slows smoothly to maintain a safe following distance. Love the confidence shown on this one. But unfortunately, that's all about to change, as now we're making an interesting choice to make a left lane change, considering traffic is approaching from behind at a higher speed, and there isn't a car in front going slower than the speed limit. But now, the way my driver seems to have noticed its mistake, and is making plans to move back over. However, it doesn't seem to have the confidence it needs to do it, and gives up. We're now left in a situation where everyone is having to go around us. And now, finally, after a little while, we managed to merge back over into the right lane. Honestly, I think this is the key factor to whether I personally care or not that the car is following exactly the speed limit. Sure, not many other people are on the freeway, but if the car is good enough at getting out of their way, I personally don't really have a problem with it, but others might. I'd love to hear your point of view down below. And now I've finished talking about a robot being inconsiderate, let's take a look at an example that is 10 times worse courtesy of a regular human driver. I think I'll just let you watch and draw your own conclusions on this one. And let me just sprinkle in a beautiful double lane change here. Okay, remember what I said earlier about the speed being locked at the speed limit? Well, in this case, the speed limit is 65. This car to our right is merging onto the freeway, and instead of falling back, Waymo surprisingly decides to put its foot down to get ahead of them. We then change lanes to the left, which it probably should have done to begin with. That right there was a top speed of a whopping 69 miles per hour, which means we officially got Waymo speeding on camera. Personally, I don't really care. If it weren't at the speed of traffic, I would be quite happy. But it's interesting to see that the car seems to have the ability, or at least permission, to do at least four over the speed limit to get itself out of certain situations. Okay, to wrap up my thoughts on my first freeway ride and what it means for Waymo overall, I'm just gonna leave in my live thoughts at the time here. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. They've, they've, they've done it, they've pulled it off. We've been wanting this freeway for so long, and I'm sure Waymo have too. So, thank you to everyone at Waymo. This is absolutely incredible. Your hard work has really paid off. I don't know what else there is to solve. Obviously, there's always the next edge case. It could always be improved. But we have driverless on the freeway. We have it on city streets. There's nowhere Waymo can't go at this point. It's just limited by fleet size and service area. Absolutely incredible. And to be honest, I stand by what I said. While we negotiate escaping this in and out, I just want to add that once freeways are live for everyone, 24 7 bear in mind that right now they sometimes turn them off at rush hour or when it rains i believe that service area expansions are going to come thick and fast and as i said the only thing really limiting expansion now is being able to make enough cars fast enough and that's a problem that's been solved before many times over so get ready Autonomy is about to be everywhere, and that's a future I'm excited to be here for.
thanks so much for watching. If you want to see more footage of Waymo on the freeway, I've got you. Linked below is the full unedited drive in both a regular view and in full 360 degree format in case that's your thing. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm currently editing together a few LA freeway rides which are insanely chaotic, so be sure to turn on notifications so you don't miss my next upload. Until then, Autonomy Central, signing off.